there. Did you know that in R, with one line of code, you can remove thousands of rows from any data set R can read? Even data sets that are in foreign formats, like SAS and SPSS? If you are learning R, use this video to challenge yourself. I'll walk you through how to use one simple command, the subset command, to delete rows by criteria in R using a real world data set. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you my trick for importing data from foreign formats. Hi, I'm Monica of DeathWench Professional Services, and I teach public health data science. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back. I try to post a new video every Friday at 10 a.m. So don't forget to be a regular visitor so you can be the first to check out my new video every week. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to remove rows from a real world data set called NHANES using our GUI. If you want to learn more about NHANES, read my blog post about NHANES. The link is in the description. As you'll learn in my blog post, the NHANES data and documentation come from this online portal. The NHANES is one surveillance effort, but for whatever reason, they split up the data into different data sets. For this demonstration, we will be using the demographics data. I'll click on it. We only have one choice of data set. As you can see, you can read the documentation under the doc file heading and download the data from clicking under the data file heading. Let's click on the documentation. Here we get to the data dictionary. For this demonstration, we are going to use the RIA gender variable, which means gender. Note that it is coded as one equals men and two equals women. Got that? All right, let's go over to our GUI. Okay, here we are in our GUI. If you want this code I'm using, just click on the link in the video description to go to my GitHub folder. Make sure you download the code named r1 underscore 03 underscore 10 underscore delete rows. As I showed you before, we started with the NHANES demographic data set, which is called p underscore demo dot xpt. I imported that into our GUI and named the data frame dg underscore a, so it has a shorter name that is easier to type. Now let's focus on the code for deleting rows by criteria. As you can see here, I first run an nrow command to count the number of rows in the data frame dg underscore a. Actually, let's run this code and see how many rows are in dg underscore a. Okay, we see in the console that we start out with about 15,000 rows in dg underscore a. Let's look at the next line where I use the subset command. We are going to subset the data frame dg underscore a, meaning we are going to remove some rows from it and copy it into data frame dg underscore b. I use these naming conventions so I can do a rollback if anything goes wrong. Hey, if you ever want advice about public health or data science, schedule a free 30 minute Zoom appointment with me using the link in the description. And don't forget to follow me and the DeathWench Professional Services Company page on LinkedIn. As you can see, we are subsetting DG underscore A by the criteria RIA gender equals two. Remember how two means women? So we're basically keeping all the women and removing the men from the data set. And then we do another n row to count the rows in dg underscore b. All right, let's run this code and see what happens. Okay, we kicked out all the men. As you can see in the console, we have about 7,800 women left in the data set. So that's how you use the subset command in our GUI to remove thousands of rows from a data set with one line of code. Hey, I don't just use this NHANES to demonstrate how to use R. I also help my customers analyze this data set for scientific papers and portfolio projects. Do you have a favorite downloadable data set you like to use? If so, please put it in the comments to this video and add a link. If you like this content, please be sure to hit the like button because then my videos will come up in your feed more often. Or better yet, hit subscribe. It's free and it really helps me out. Thank you. Okay. Here's the tip I was going to give you for importing foreign data into R. You might notice that the NHANES data are stored in a very obscure format, which is .xpt. This is a SAS format from a foreign software. So what if you are trying to read a SAS data set or an SPSS data set into R? For this, I recommend you use the foreign package. As you can see here, I call up the library foreign, 
then use the read.export command to import it into the R GUI environment. The form package also handles other non-R data formats. Check it out on CRAN. Want to continue your data science journey with me, an experienced professional, at your side? Take my online course, Application Basics, and learn business application terminology demonstrated through unique case studies, so you are empowered to divine novel insights from analyzing application data. Better yet, register for the workshop. Click on the link in the description to access the course and workshop. And don't forget to follow me on the socials. Links to all my social media accounts are in the description. Let's stay connected because you never know where your data science journey will lead. Have a data emergency or just need advice? Remember to let Deathwinch do your data.